Let's make wire grid. See, this is a kind of windshield grid or wire grid. Now here we have all dimensions are in millimeter. Wire diameters are respectively 5, 4 and 3 millimeter. Okay. Now this outer shape, how we will achieve? We will achieve with the help of intersection curve. Now see, there is no any step in this. It is clear. So we will achieve this one split spline. Let's see. Okay. Let's see the center to center distance. 263 263 and center this wire diameter center point 27 millimeter fine and if I am going to see a section view this is important 5 diameter wire 40 40 and uh, if you see this uh, radius uh, 10 millimeter 75 145 now we will create this one 150 millimeter little bigger because we need to use intersection curve rest all we will keep as it is this is also i am going to little increase 5 millimeter then we will apply this one and uh, you will see this outer diameter 110 millimeter the corner radius r10 let's achieve this first now let me select front plane sketch activate line tool exit smart dimension now distance okay center line draw one center line because we need it for a revolve boss revolve feature this outside dimension 145 plus 5 okay height 40 millimeter 75 now this side i'm going to make little 5 millimeter extra 40 plus 5 okay because 5 millimeter going to trim fillet 10 millimeter select this one this one okay but I want to make this one spline so that we will get a flawless body. I don't want this step. So I'm going to choose here a tool, a spline tool, fit spline. Now here uncheck close because this is not close. So select one by one. If you want to see curvature comb, this is by default tolerance, keep as it is, say ok. Now if you see, this is a complete spline. Now go to surface, revolve surface. Now here choose axis of revolution, this construction line and you will see the body. Keep angle 360 and condition blind, any direction you can keep, no issue, say ok. Let me hide this. Now look, there is no line, it is flawless, even if you saw, see, shaded with age, there is no line, this is flawless, if I am going to select any face, it is going to select whole, that's why we use fit spline. Now top plane, sketch, center point straight slot. okay now these center lines it is given 263 similarly for this 263 and uh, uh, this diameter 27 27 bottom also 27 look these structures are little smaller than this that's why we create this one okay now let me select circle, draw one circle at center and define this diameter 110 millimeter. Okay. Now this is fully defined skirt, but we don't need this center one. Trim entity, here choose keep trim entity as construction line. Now
Now, this corner we have to make fillet. So we have to convert this. See, if I am going to delete this, we will lose relation. Say okay. See, we lose relation. So okay. Okay, fine. Now, this is already fully defined sketch, but only we need to define constraint. Then uh, I think we will get this uh, drawing perfect. Say okay. Let me try. If it is going to take time, then I believe it's... Okay, let me try. So that we will get idea. It is difficult to get a constraint, so simply leave as it is. Again, create one more sketch on top plane. Now select previous sketch, convert entity. Now see, now previous hide. See how beautiful drawing. A sketch fillet, 10 millimeter. Now apply at all corner. Okay, cancel. Now, we need to make a flawless wire. Uh, there is no any step on this. So, we need to convert this in a spline. A split spline line. Uh, one spline. Tool. Spline tools. Fit spline. Now, here close already selected. Let uncheck comb because there are too many lines. Right click on one line. Select chain look just closely look anything miss or no everything should be select there should not be anything miss maybe there's some problem going to happen okay let's we will do it say okay now if i'm going to select see this is one there is a one step but let's see now go to surface extruded cut uh, sorry extruded surface now we need to move both side one direction 10 millimeter little above and direction two let's say 50 millimeter because we need to use both the body say okay now go to feature sketch and here drop down convert entity intersection curve now let me select this body and this body say ok now cancel now we are in 3d sketch simply exit and delete this body we already have one sketch how to delete this body direct editing delete or keep body delete body let me select one two select both the body ok now see we achieve our 3d sketch Swift to boss base, circular profile and the diameter, this outer wire 5 mm. So select this wire and you will see. And in option, merge tangent faces. Okay, see, the wire is flawless. There is no any step. Look, that's why we use fit spline feature. Now let's create this internal wire, 90 degree and uh, this corner fillet also 10 millimeter. We forget to mention here, but this is behind, look, from bottom to center 5 millimeter. This center wire diameter is how much? 4 millimeter. So this is 3.5 millimeter below, but uh, we will do it later. Then there is a circle diameter, how much? 30. The gap between all rings, 10 millimeter. 1, 2, 3. Total 4 rings. Okay. Now again, I am going to use the same top plane sketch. Let me show previous sketch. Okay, let me activate line tool. 
you will see the one center point if i am going to move somewhere okay it is not going to show let's do this draw one vertical line and uh, select this outer two line and center line make relation symmetry Ninety degree corner fillet, sketch fillet, ten millimeter. Let me select. Okay, and cancel. See, this is fully defined sketch. Exit and choose here swift to boss base, circular profile, and the diameter of this wire is three millimeter. Uncheck merge result because I want to make it uh, down. Say okay. Again, I am going to choose top plane, sketch, circle, thirty millimeter. Now go to feature and activate swift to boss base. Sketch profile diameter four millimeter. now option unmerge result okay now right click show feature dimension okay we need this edit sketch okay delete this dimension and uh, this uh, show previous sketch and uh, let me select center line now connect from here to this point make this diameter radius 15 okay now this is fully defined sketch exit now activate linear pattern now here in direction i am going to choose okay for feature and faces select this now for direction i am going to select this 15 mm radius spacing instances 10 mm the gap between two circle four number of circles come down and here activated very sketch select this one full preview now you will see the preview say okay look now let's hide all these sketches even right click uncheck show feature dimensions even though let me apply color to all bodies now fine now this one make it down so direct editing body keep or move select this body now translate here if you select this diameter 2 mm uh, 4 mm this one 3.5 so the half of this going to be 3.5 3.5 this is moving upside reverse make it downside say okay select the body make it little color body select this body see now let's mirror this for reference front plane body select this red body okay let me see this is the our result don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects inside books thanks for watching